Question number seven, Mercedes Vialba. To ask the Scottish Government what action it is taking to address high private sector rents. Minister Patrick Harvey. The Cost of Living Tenant Protection Scotland Act, which came into force on the 28th of October, included a rent cap to protect tenants from high rent increases. At the same time, we are committed to introducing an effective national system of private sector rent controls by the end of 2025, and to do so in a way that is robust and provides lasting benefit to tenants. We are also providing up to £86 million in housing support this year, building on the £39 million of additional funding already provided to protect tenants as a result of the pandemic. Mercedes Fialba. I thank the Minister for his support for Labour's rent freeze policy. And it's vital that this stays in place until we have a national system of rent controls to bring rents down. Because long-term underinvestment in council housing and historic poor regulation of the private rental sector has allowed private landlords to cash in on the housing crisis while claiming that they provide a public service. But let's be clear, this isn't philanthropy, it's exploitation. So will the Minister commit to finally ending the two-tier system of rented housing in Scotland by capping private rents in line with social rental levels? Minister. Well, I'm glad that uh, the Labour Party supports the measures that the, the Scottish Government brought to Parliament, uh, measures that haven't been replicated by any other government in any other part uh, of the UK. The Member is well aware, the member is well aware uh, that emergency legislation must by definition be temporary. It's ongoing necessity reviewed to ensure that the provisions remain proportionate to the situation. Uh, and for that reason, the, the measures will initially apply for a six month period. But the Act also includes powers to extend the measures for two further six month periods, subject to parliamentary approval if circumstances show this to be necessary. And the Act also includes provisions to temporarily change the rent adjudication process if this is necessary to support the transition away from the, the emergency measures. Alongside the direct support that I have mentioned in my first answer and the Scottish Government's strong track record on providing social housing, this Government has the best track record of any part of the UK in supporting tenants in these difficult times.